Welcome to A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care. I'm Vanessa Keaton and with me today I have Heather Osborne who is the Center Administrator of White Oak Hill. Welcome Heather. Thank you Vanessa. You are welcome. So Heather, I know enough about you to know that you have a story, a past of addiction mm -hmm. and a beautiful story of recovery. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, I was in addiction for about 12 years. Um, I, I, I started at a late age. I was almost 30 years old before I'd ever used drug. Um, from that point on, it was just, it was all downhill from then. Um, I was going to jail for trafficking. I was going to jail for manufacturing. Um, in that period of time, I, I, I stayed in jail probably all together a total of like over three years. Wow. Um, and never been in jail in my life. Sure, yeah. Wow, so where? how did you end up seeking out treatment or finding mm -hmm. your path to recovery after that? Well, I was uh, court ordered, uh, my, last, my last time that I was in jail, I was court ordered to uh, treatment and they ordered me to Karen's place. Okay. Um, and this whole entire time, like I sit in jail and I thought, you know, even if I get this treatment, what am I gonna do? Right. You know, I didn't, I, I don't have any degrees or anything like that. And I remember as soon as I walked in, I saw Brianna Muncy and she was like telling me all these things, you know, about the internship. Yeah. And <clears throat> just all these things that I, I could do. So that gave me a lot of hope. Yeah. Um, but I ended up completing that. Um, I started out as residential staff and I've held probably every position in residential treatment. <laughs> yes, worked your way all the way up to where you I are did. today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that piece that you just mentioned, how um, you know there were all of these different opportunities mm -hmm. that were explained to you right in the very beginning, yeah. that is so important. Mm -hmm. It is, it is. Um, and I'd say that most of these women are like me if they're sitting in jail, you know, they have hopes of getting clean, but then they also have that fear of what am I going to do next. Sure. Yeah, so. it is. It's definitely a real mm -hmm. fear. It is. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with me today, Heather. You're welcome, Vanessa.